this video we'll see module 8 manage virtual machines so there are seven tasks in module 8 so we'll see the first task so in first task we are going to deploy azure virtual machine into different availability zone using azure portal and arm template first log into the azure portal and search for virtual machine click create a virtual machine select the subscription and resource group i'm going to create a new resource group rg1 click ok and next the virtual machine name vm0 and the region so i'll be leaving the default region availability option select the availability zone and the availability zone select one and select the image i'm going to use windows server 2019 data center gen 1 azure spot instance no size standard d2s v3 and next enter the username i'm going to give student and the password confirm password public inbound ports none do you like to use an existing windows server license no next disk select the os disk type as a premium ssd enable ultra disk compatibility leave it no and click next for networking So I'm going to create a new virtual network. Enter the name. And just uh, leave it a default one and address range 10.80.0.0 slash 20. Create a subnet subnet name subnet 0 and enter the subnet range slash 24 and click ok so subnet 0 public ip so it has taken uh, some default public ip so i'm not going to change that nick network security group set it to basic public inbound ports none accelerate networking off place this virtual machine behind an existing load balancer solution leave it default and next click management Okay, uh, under monitoring, boot diagnostics, enable with the custom storage account. Okay, it has uh, taken some default uh, storage account name. Leave that value as a default. Enable auto shutdown, backup, site recovery, guest OS update. So patch orchestration option. Leave it manual updates. 
and click next advanced so just review and uh, leave it default value click review plus create it's running the final validation okay the validation passed click on create okay so the deployment is complete so in the deployment blade click on template you will use this option to deploy the second virtual machine with the matching configuration except the availability is on click deploy so on the custom deployment blade specify the following settings resource group select the existing resource group and leave the region default network interface name and public IP address name virtual machine name so this current value has taken from the existing deployment that we have uh, used for a VM0 deployment. I'm just going to modify some of the names to use it in the second VM and virtual machine computer name. Admin username, admin password. Enable hot patching false. And I'm going to select zone 2 for the second virtual machine and leave the other option as a default value. Click review and create. validation passed click on create so let's wait for the deployment to complete before we proceed to the next task this might take about five minutes in the next task we will see how to configure azure virtual machine by using the uh, virtual machine extension okay so the deployment is complete